Drew James here from Learn Guitar in London and I'm sure you can guess the riff that I'm playing. This is insanely easy if you're a beginner. I'm just going to be teaching this short little lick. If you've got a short attention span, this one will be perfect. It promises to be a short lesson. If your guitar's tuned up, and um, you've got it in front of you, then we can start learning it. It really is that simple. Even if you've only been playing literally the last 30 minutes, you're gonna be able to learn this one, a complete beginner's guitar lesson. I'll show you how to play it. Let's have a look at the left hand and see how we do this one. Now, this song starts um, on an open on this string here, okay? For this song, we're only actually gonna be using these three strings. Now, I call the strings, if you're a complete beginner, this is something that you should uh, take on board because it's a lot easier to label the strings with letters than it is to do them with numbers because there's also numbers on the fretting hand, so it can get a bit confusing. So I call them E, A, D, G, B, E. You can come up with a rhyme. For example, I use Eddie, Eight, Dynamite, Goodbye, Eddie to do that, okay? So we're only gonna be using the Eddie, Eight, and Dynamite string for this song. It's gonna start on a zero, so we're not gonna hold down anything. But we're gonna get this finger, our index finger, ready to hold down the second fret on the thickest string, okay? Now when we hold down, we don't hold down on the bit of metal, we hold down in the middle of the fret like this, okay? And when we press down, we make sure the thumb isn't coming up over the top, it's just nicely tucked round the back like so, okay? And we're not gonna to press too close to the bit of metal, as I've said, so we go zero. Two, 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 okay? Zero, two, 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 two. One, two, three, four. So there's four hits on the two. We then go zero, 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 zero. Okay, so let's go zero, two, two, two. So let's go from the beginning. So there's four zeros wedged in the middle, and then we're just going to go to three. Okay, you can use your index finger for that today. We're going to keep it nice and easy. So zero, two, 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 zero, 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 three, 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 three. Okay. Then we're going to go two, two, two. And then we're going to go round in a circle. So let's do that from the beginning. Round in a circle. Okay. And then when we go round in a circle, the next part is we go two, one, zero. we move this finger down past the A string onto the D string on the first fret, so fret one, fret two, fret three, that's how we number them. Hold down the first fret, you'll find it's a bit tighter here because of this nut, so hold a little bit closer to the fret marker rather than in the middle, it'll be a lot, little bit easier to press down. And then let go. Okay, so we go one, zero. So let's just go from, we go two, one, zero, skip down to the D, move the hand down on this hand, down as well. Then we're gonna go two on the A string, zero, two. Okay, so it's... And then we're ready to go round in a circle. Okay, now the only other thing that I want to tell you today is if you're using a plectrum, which you might be, I'd like to tell you about picking direction, okay? So on this hand, you can see that my plectrum isn't always going down the string, sometimes it's going up. I don't know if you can see that, I'll get it a bit closer, so. You see that my plectrum's going up. So when we start the song, we go down, down, up, down, 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 up. So you hear on the da 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 da, that's down up. Down up, down, down. Okay, so that's called 
alternate picking, and it means that playing with a bit of speed like that, because you're having to go a little bit quicker, is easier to do. Thanks very much for watching this video. If you do like this uh, style of tuition where I break down everything and show you how to do it, um, and I always do most of my lessons on acoustic guitar as well, I'm, I'm, I'm an acoustic guitarist, but even with a riff like this one that we've just done, it sounds so great on acoustic, and I know most of you beginners out there have got an acoustic guitar as well. Um, then all you need to do is just click this link down here. That'll take you to my website uh, and all the free videos there. I think we've got about over 120 now, which is fantastic. Um, also, you can get free access to my Essential Beginners Guitar course. The first five videos are available for free. Um, once again, I've just changed the link down here again now. If you click this link, that will take you through to a sign-up form where you can go to my student area. Um, sign-up is completely free. It just takes a name and an email address. Um, you will then get exclusive videos that aren't available on YouTube, all the part twos to my other videos that I do, um, and tablature as well. So yeah, just click on here. Absolutely uh, nothing to lose, everything to gain. Um, and thanks very much for watching. Keep on playing. See you again soon.